Urban Liar of the Forest, Part 5, coming to a field near you. This time it's premiering in Jacksonville. Is it just me or is Urban Liar take off two or three years at a time? Conveniently for him, and comes back miraculously from these de uh, these dehabilitating um, health issues. He comes back, but he always has those health issues right when the gig is up, right when his rub has wore off. Like it did at Florida with all the crime-ridden um, situations down there with a lot of his players. Then you have the uh, domestic abuse enabling situation up at Ohio State where he, uh, he tried to cover up a wife beater's uh, escapades. And now you have Urban coming into the NFL. So if Urban thought that it was bad in college, um, the pressures of succeeding quicker and faster are much more amped up in the NFL for Urban. So, <clears throat> in my opinion, I think Urban done this as a money grab. Basically, this is all it is, man. Urban's going to come in, he's going to coach maybe three to four years, tops five, and his rub is going to wear off. He might have a few good seasons, and then... It's going to revert back to the same old Urban where he just clutches his chest and says, this is the big one, Elizabeth. I'm coming to Canadian football. Because that's the only stop I can see him making now where people ain't going to be onto his gig, onto his rub, which all it seems like it always wears off about after five to six years at every stop that he's at. Urban comes in. He has a few good seasons. People think he's the next greatest coach of all time, and then all of a sudden, a few bad losses here and there, some some turmoil and some some tensions and maybe some pressure, and Urban snaps. He just completely snaps. He can't be. He cannot be criticized, and nobody can be critical of Urban, or he will mysteriously come down with some more what is it, medical issues that he's had. This time it was his head, that he had some kind of uh, anxiety or some kind of issues within his brain or something. I don't know. It's always something different with Urban, it seems. Um, <clears throat> so my question to you guys and gals out there is this. Do you think this is just a money grab by Urban? Because he can't seriously think that with – the way that he hasn't been able to deal with the pressure, that he's going to actually be able to deal with pressure on the NFL level. Now, there is one saving grace. He does get to uh, draft probably Trevor Lawrence coming out of the gate. But if he really wants to save himself, he could always call his sweetheart. You know, since he's in Jacksonville, that is the hometown of one Timmy Tebow who is the number one son in Jacksonville, and Urban's little sweetheart, you know, because they used to do pillow talk and have crying sessions on the sidelines and yada, yada, yada. It's just, I hate to make fun and light of someone's health issues, but it just seems to me that it's disingenuous and that it's not as bad as Urban makes it out. Each and every single time, that some controversy came up, whether it was um, a boatload of criminal activity at the University of Florida or him enabling a wife beater at Ohio State. There's always something like that that comes up right about the same time that Urban pulls a Fred Sanford. Is that not just convenient to you guys and gals out there? Like I said, a lot of people don't say you're being insensitive, JPC, but I'm really not being insensitive here when there's a pattern that shows that every time Urban gets a little turmoil or he gets a little bit pressured or something comes up where they question him about something that may be a little shady, Urban suddenly grasps upon the fact that, hey, I'm having health issues or I want to go spend time with my family. Well, we saw that the last time when he left Florida, he spent all of one one, one year, maybe two, with his uh, family and his daughter's um, blossoming volleyball career. I guess she's a professional volleyball player in Romania somewhere now. 
But um, it just seems uh, awful convenient for me. It just seems like this guy has a lot of people fooled. He has a cult following wherever he goes. I, I'm sure there's a lot of Ohio State uh, people that still think Urban Meyer is like the best thing since bread and butter. But every time Urban goes to a program, yeah, he wins at the start. But then the foundation starts cracking. You start seeing a lot of shadiness, whether it be criminal activity or domestic abuse. And then Urban cracks. And he tucks tail and he runs. And the only thing I can think of is Jacksonville warned him because he used to be a head coach in Florida. He's got connections with Tim Tebow in the Jacksonville area. And it's a great PR move for them and a ticket seller. Other than that, I see as a money grab by Urban Meyer. And he will be out of the NFL within three to four years, in my opinion. So you guys and gals tell me your opinion. Is it a money grab? Or is Urban genuine? Is he finally seen the error of his ways? Is he going to actually be able to stick? I don't think so. But you guys and gals, tell me your opinion. And with that, I'm going to get off of here. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Subscriptions are most important. They keep me up and going and on the air with YouTube. And with that, KMCA to all the other teams.